We drove to Albany to catch the bus. We all woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and we were very tired. One of the groups got stuck listening to the Elvis Duran morning show, arguing about whether you should put ketchup on your expensive steak or not. Finally, we got to Rensselaer Station after an hour and a half of driving. We took the mega bus down and back from New York City. It was really fun, but everyone was tired and most of us were sleeping since we had to be up at 4.30 in the morning to get to school. The ride back was my favorite because everyone was really hyper and it was hilarious because Chase had a giant Hershey's bar and he ate all of it on the bus ride back. On the way into the Lincoln Tunnel, our bus got hit by an old lady in a car and we had to sit and wait for 30 minutes. Before we got on the bus to leave, it started raining and everyone had to eat lunch outside, so everyone's food ended up getting wet. Welcome into 121 West 77 Heidi's apartment. All the boys slept in the middle while the girls slept in the basement and upstairs. Some of us every morning went on a walk to get bagels for the rest for everyone to eat. Some of us ate outside in the patio when we had bagels, and some stayed inside. We went to the Museum of Natural History while in New York City, and it was pretty cool. We did a scavenger hunt for some of the exhibits, and it was kind of hard. We explored the African and North American mammals exhibit and saw giraffes, bears, gorillas, and such. We also saw a planetarium show, which was really cool, and saw a native origin section. We saw the famous big whales, squid, dolphins, fish, and sea lions. This was my favorite part of the trip because I loved the huge whale. We went to Times Square. While Bettina stood in line to get the tickets for Broadway, the girls went shopping at Forever 21, and the boys went to Foot Locker in the Hershey store. In Forever 21, Emily C and I got lost on the way back to meet everyone, so we took a little longer than we planned. Meanwhile, the boys were in the Hershey store and Mr. Chandler told them not to get the world's biggest Hershey's bar because it cost $40. After finding out we were going to Broadway, the class wanted to go to the, Hers the m and store, so we got five minutes and then we had to leave. After our pizza dinner, we went to the Broadway show Peter and the Star Catcher, which is a backstory of Peter Pan. Everyone thought it was really funny. My favorite part was when Blackstash said, Oh my God! Oh my God! and kept saying it over and over again in different voices. Everyone started laughing. After the play, we got confused with the subways and some people went on the wrong ones. But we all got back to the apartment fine. Mr. Chamberlain, Emily, S, and I all went on the morning walk the first day. We met up with Heidi and she brought her friend's dog, Ginger. Then we went to Central Park and I learned a lot about its history. The next couple of days, some other people went on the walk. Christina, Emily, C, and Eva joined us that day. We went to the Alice in Wonderland Park and it was so much fun posing with all of the statues. The gardens at Fort Tyron were so pretty. I loved walking through the gardens with all the bright colors. We had a lot of fun posing around the stone wall. It was a really hot day, so we all had to keep drinking a lot of water. In the cloisters, it was really cool to see the tombs and how they made a sort of body mask to cover the person when they died. The cloisters had a lot of cool things from the Renaissance. On some tombs were smaller statues above the tomb. decided to go and get some hot dogs from street vendors. Most of us got hot dogs and french fries, but then Will got churros and Christina got a grilled cheese sandwich. After waiting for everybody, we crossed 
the street over to Central Park. We sat down under a big tree and we ate our food while children, children from the school were running all around us and played what looked like hide and seek. After that, we went to the castle Belvedere. We went up into the towers and there was an amazing view of the turtle pond in front of Central Park. And that was really fun. I really liked seeing the punk exhibit. There was so much art to look in in one building. It was also fun seeing the pa famous paintings and sculptures. We all found very interesting art to look at. This was one of our favorite parts of New York City because it was different than Vermont. The Highline Park was really cool, but we were all really tired so we didn't get to walk the whole thing. I think that is really cool how someone had the idea of not just letting the old railroad sit there, but to turn it into a park where people can relax, have lunch, and meet with friends. I was really excited to see the 9-11 memorial, but I had to go to the bathroom really bad, so I could not get to see it. I found a bathroom and we ended up getting soda and gravy fries. The 9-11 memorial is very calm and serene with lots of trees. Danny Hahn was really fun. Right before we went on the train to go to dinner, Ms. Tramelin told our class that Patrick's mom and stepdad got Benny Hanna for dinner. We had glass and food was really good, especially a very blast smoothie. The chef at one point also put a I love you sign with fried rice and it was really cool. We played the game called two true senses and one false, so we had to figure out the person's false. After dinner and very delicious drinks, we had ice cream. Chase got special ice cream because we were celebrating an early birthday for him. When we first got on the Circle Line Ferry, we all went to sit down. For most of the ride, the boys, Sarah and I were upstairs and the rest of the girls were downstairs. We got to see the Statue of Liberty in parts of New Jersey. After we passed the Statue of Liberty, we headed back to the dock. Grand Central Station was so much fun. It was fun whispering into the whispering walls because you could hear the person across the room. We got lunch there and I got a grilled chicken quesadilla that I split with Emily. After lunch, we went to Bryant Park to eat our food. After we finished lunch, some of the people in the class did handstands and cartwheels. I thought it was really fun because it was really cool to have a picnic in the park and do gymnastics. At around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we went to NBC to take a tour. We saw the SNL set and the Football Night in America set. It was very cool. Then we talked to Jordan's uncle about what it was like to produce at NBC. After the tour, we learned what it was like to be a TV producer. This was a really cool experience, and I hope we can go back. After we took a tour of NBC, we walked a few blocks to see St. Patrick's Cathedral. This cathedral was, is a remake of one of the ones in France. When you walk through the door, the light you could light a candle for all the fatalities. This cathedral was very beautiful. There is beautiful Gothic ar architecture, which I really liked. For dinner, we got hot dogs and burgers from Shake Shack. I really did. After we went to get frozen yogurt from 16 Handles, Chase got tons of whipped cream on his face and had a huge beard. They found, uh, we were really bored at the apartment, so we played Simon Says. It was a fun night at the Chan Moon residence. Everyone went on the walk to feed the turtles. We went there with a bagel and some crackers and started walking to the pond with Ginger, Heidi's friend's dog. We also stopped at Veldivere Castle. It was cool because that's where the movie The Smurfs was filmed. 